Hi, Soul Family. How are you? <clears throat> so, I told you that when I'm in Sedona, I'm downloaded the whole time I'm there. And then my epiphanies come one by one in my dream time or in my uh, waking hour. See, the song right now is Run Away, Run Away. I kept getting the whole time I was driving back from Sedona, let go, let go, release. And now it's run away, run away. I keep, it's, it's over and over. The same message keeps coming. And I was talking to you guys about how, you know, I know, I know what in the spiritual realm, what um, my, my role was to be in this life. And yet we have to live in this 3D world. And I told you about the woman who spoke to me and said that I was going to, I was holding myself back and I needed to open myself up. To what I what I wanted, what I deserved, which is love and and experiencing the world, and I can't just live in the sixth, seventh dimension, live in the etheric realms where I am with my twin soul, right? Because I watch, and that's all I am. It's all it feels like that I'm a watcher, and I am. I'm not. My name is Sherry. I was meant to share. I'm not meant to just watch, and I, I don't like the idea of voyeurism. That's not my thing. I had really intense dreams last night um, and they were uh, showing me a lot of things that were very symbolic and what keeps coming to my mind as a teacher is, I'm, I'm finishing my nail polish while I'm talking to you guys, um, is that my nail, your nails are your, your fingernails are the protection for your fingers which is your feelers, right? And I'm coating mine in purple protection. I don't wanna make um, foolish choices by, so I think, I, I go to spirit always. When I have friends that ask me what I feel about a relationship or whatever, you know, knowing that this is what I do for work, I don't give my personal opinion ever because I, it doesn't matter what my personal opinion is. If you want to know and, and you're looking for guidance, then I always have to ask for spirit. And it's interesting because I've had people say to me, I don't want to know what spirit has to say. I want to know what you have to say. And that's difficult for me because it's funny, the song that's playing right now. See, this is my spiritual twin speaking from the etheric realm, but it's not good enough to speak to me from the etheric realm. I live in this realm. Remember, I told you guys, people are you know, um, talking about going to heaven or they're talking about hell and there is no heaven, there is no hell, it's all here. It's all here, this is where we are now. This is where we're living now. <clears throat> so, um, I don't give my personal opinion. I, I ask spirit for guidance and yet when I ask spirit for guidance and I don't give my personal opinion, then I need to ask spirit for guidance for myself and I have to listen to spirit's guidance as well. Now, yes, we all came here with a plan, we all came here with a mission to accomplish and all of us have free will. And I told you before that um, personally, there was one that came forward as a spiritual twin that was not able to fulfill his, his role. He chose not to. So when he chose not to, it was given away to someone else, that role. I'm kind of over the labels. I, I, I go back and forth about it. You know, oh, I'm a soulmate, oh, I'm a twin soul. It doesn't really matter. What you are is you're just a person living right now. And yes, you're a highly spiritual creature, but you are living a human existence. So I have to also take this for myself. It can't just be for you guys, right? It can't just apply to everyone else. Oh, because I'm in a twin soul relationship, it doesn't apply to me. Well, it, it does apply to me. And I do have human needs, just like everyone else does. And even though I may say, okay, well, I'm seeing things from a higher perspective and I recognize because I've been shown already in my dreams, this occurs, this occurs, that occurs. But you know what? If we all have free will, I have watched things unfold and they have unfolded as I was shown six years ago, seven years ago. But there is a possibility that somebody can make a change and all of a sudden the end of the dream shifts, right? I saw my twin soul and I up until one point. I didn't see the end result. So it hadn't been decided yet about which direction we were going. I saw the person come to me and say, what happened? I fell off my path. And I said, well, now you know. So 
that's what happened and here we are. So I didn't see what happened beyond that. I saw somebody trying to communicate to me as all these different people. And at the end, I saw this person wearing a military jacket, a vintage military ja style jacket, long hair, long dark hair. Actually it was long hair because the two people morph into one another constantly in my dreams. And I looked at the person and I said, oh my God, it was you all along, wasn't it? And the person said, yep, that's all I know. So how we get to here and there uh, is, is free will in between, right? So we ask for guidance. We, don't, we wanna make sure that we make the, the right steps. So personally for myself, my, I, I must align with a spiritual being. I must align with someone who is um, intent and focused on, on staying on their spiritual path. Their focus isn't the material world, amassing wealth, amassing properties. Their, their focus is on their spiritual path, how they help, how they, um, how yes, they serve spirit and, 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 and others, they love for others, but they also are allowed to love for themselves. They're also allowed to enjoy for themselves. Because what do I preach all the time? Be your own best friend. Well, I wouldn't be my own best friend if I wasn't allowing myself to have love, if I wasn't allowing myself to have fun, if I wasn't allowing myself to explore and have adventures. Right? It's not all play, all work. It's not all play. It's not all work. All work makes Jack a very dull boy. All play makes Tim a very silly boy, right? It's got to be a balance of, of all. So what Spirit kept saying to me was let go, release, and open your mind, open your, open your heart. Things are not going to play out necessarily in the way that you imagine that they are. We have a limited perspective. I get viewpoints ahead of time. I see into the future. I do. I'm very good at that. But there are still things that spirit holds back. And it's, it's for our, our learning, our involvement. Like I said, there may be a Hayoka trickster uh, empath in your life that is tricking you to do something. And you think, well, I'm, okay, I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm over this. I'm moving forward. And that, was the, that needed to happen in order for this to happen. Or I hold on, I, whatever it is. I hope I'm not confusing you. Um, I, I have a lot going on in my head and I've got a lot of spirit speaking to me in the background right now. But um, the message basically is I, I, I'm all open and honest with you guys whenever I speak. And um, I know that a lot of people look to others for their example. And that's, that's good to, follow, you know, to have an example. But everybody has to live according to what their soul is, is asking of them. Everybody has to live according to what it is that they desire and what it is that they want to manifest into their life. And uh, I, I have been guided by a spirit to allow that for myself. I'm not going to deprive myself of love. I'm not going to deprive myself of attention. I, I like attention from someone that loves me. I deserve attention from someone that loves me. It's not good enough to have a spiritual being connected to me that is looking at such a grand picture that they're in this etheric realm and they're operating from that level and they're not on this physical realm. We require food, water, shelter, love, encouragement, closeness, friendship. We require that as humans. I'm not a computer. I'm a feeling being. And my, I was named Sherry because I like to share. I don't wanna be by myself. I, I choose not to be by myself. So I'm open. And that as I guess the you know the, the the message I got when I was in Sedona was you know well maybe you need to open yourself up and I was saying no at this point I haven't seen in another energy and I still have not seen another energy come in. But the message that spirit said to me was we want you to stay open. Let go, release, move forward, continue on your spiritually illuminated path but keep an open heart and mind. And remember I said, if before I came to this planet, my spiritual twin and I and our father, mother, and I made an arrangement that another energy was going to step into my life, well then I would go there. Up until that point, I hadn't felt that energy move in. But I was guided and I have been shown that I am to stay open, so I am. So I welcome in what is in my highest good? Just like I ask you guys, it doesn't apply just to you. It applies to me as well. There's a message for me. Perspective. It's about looking at things from perhaps a different perspective. And listen to the message. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Well, I definitely dare to be different at all times, right? But this message is also the hanging man. Right? A hanging man is, is listening, is, is gleaning information, is, is, 
is open and aware to all the information coming forward. So the hanging man, hanging woman, this would be me, right? I'm open. I am daring to look at things from a different perspective. I'm not gonna keep myself locked in a position because I know who my spiritual twin is. I talked to you about my spiritual twin. The physical being may have other plans. And my plan is not to hang upside down by myself. <laughs> it's time to look at things from a different perspective. So I'm just saying it to you guys because I told you that at this point, you know, this is where I was at and I would be open and honest. And I said actually the other day that if I felt that I was going to move on to a different, um, that, I, that, it would, that I would probably grieve and it would hurt my heart. But I've been so alone for so long, physically, that it's not hurting me anymore. I've been through the hurt and pain. I thought that I would feel that grieving, but I guess I've already done that grieving because I've been alone for years right? Knowing who my spiritual twin was. But I live in this life as well. So I'm saying this all to you because there are others that are holding, waiting, waiting. Spirit doesn't want us to hold on and wait. They don't want us to wait. They want us to keep moving forward and they want us to stay open because sometimes our perspective changes. One of the messages that came out in the reading that I did when I was on my way home from Sedona was, and, and it got lost, I guess it was so that I could mull things over was that, um, oh, my mind just went, hold on, stay open, because, oh, I get it, because um, up until this point, this is what I've understood, do you get it? Yes, I get it, wow, it's become clear to me. Okay, Spirit says, now forget that, we're going up another level. And it's like you get to this place and you master that, and you understand it, and you're good with it, you're comfortable with it, you're moving through it and with it, and spirits moving with you and now they're saying all right that level's done now we're going up to the sixth dimension and in the sixth dimension we do things this way right so i'm leveling up <laughs> i've leveled up i guess the epiphany was have hit in and i will tell you that even though i am a very very highly spiritual being i am also a very highly Ooh. sexual being physical being and i'm detaching from keeping myself as an island i don't like it I, it doesn't feel good and I've had a lot of spiritual people say to me, you know, you'll get to the place where you feel you don't need another person in your life. No, but I would desire that. I desire companionship. I desire someone to hold me, to laugh with me, play with me, be my partner. And remember the, the, the person that I met said, why don't you ask spirit, dare to ask for what it is that you want. What do you want? Do you want a partner to travel with, to explore with, to do your work with, someone to encourage you, someone to bounce ideas off of, someone to share? Yes. I want to share with my spiritual partner. I don't want to do it as myself. I'm not choosing to do it as an island. Now, my spiritual uh, twin may feel very comfortable being completely isolated and alone and doing his own thing. He may feel comfortable having a whole mass of people with him. I feel comfortable having one with me. And that's what I'm calling in. And that's what I'm open to. So I thought I'd let you guys know because I told you. As I evolve, I share with what I'm going through, right? Okay, so today what I'm going to do is, and check it out, triumphant success. I manifest very quickly what I ask for. So, um, and, and, and sometimes it's like I said, the Hayoka, the trickster inside of me may trick myself into doing what I need to do for myself. So today, but first what we're gonna do is we wanna ask for a blessing and a clearing on this reading so that the messages that come through are understood the way we're meant to understand them and so that um, there is protection on this reading. I don't want any other entities or energies coming in except for of the highest light, so I'm calling in pure, unconditional love. Song right now, how do you sleep when you lie to me, baby? How can you sleep when you lie to me? Somebody needs to think about that. It keeps coming up again and again. Somebody is lying. And their conscience is not ignited. So let me turn this radio off. I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't want them to talk. I want spirit to talk. So we're going to start clearing the air. This is like energetic rain. What we're doing is we're stirring up, breaking up any vibration, anything that has come in that has settled down, that is dark, that's heavy, that's interfering. We're breaking it up. Breaking it up. And we're asking Archangel Michael to come in 
and sweep it out, clear it away. Any vibration, any thoughts, any thinking, any, any uh, emotion that is incorrect or that's coming from a place of ego. And now we ask the Father, I ask the Father to fill me with pure, unconditional love. I'm being filled, and I will show you. You can visualize doing this yourself. We'll use my chakra wand. You can visualize this happening. So it's pouring in our crown. We ask Archangel Michael to stand by and protect our crown so that while it's open, nothing else is able to get in. So it's, it, we're pour, it's pouring down, pouring down. You can see it magically going down your spine. It goes all the way to your root chakra, and it's filling up, filling up. It goes to your sacral chakra. It's filling up and as it fills up each chakra the chakras begin to ignite and spin now it's at our solar plexus chakra spinning spinning filling filling now it's at our, I can feel it I can mine's already at my heart heart chakra filling spinning now it's at our our throat chakra so that we can speak our truth we are capable of speaking our truth comfortably now it's at our third eye our third eye is open it's open and ready to receive the information now it's at our crown. Our crown is open to spirit. And we have Archangel Michael's glowing presence at the top protecting so that nothing gets in except for our spiritual light from our father, mother, goddess, higher selves. Okay? Love that. We now ask that anything that was broken up around here is going to be pulled into this 24 karat gold crystal singing bowl. This is quartz and 24 karat gold infused. 24 karat gold is about self-worth, about worthiness, and what is precious to you. Quartz is where you put your intention. My intention is that anything that's broken up, that's floating around, gets pulled in, mixed in with this pure, unconditional love, and pushed out the walls. And so everything is vibrating love around us. All of my wind chimes are going right now outside. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I wonder if you can see. I'll turn you around. All the wind chimes are going. It's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. Okay. I love that. My mom used to say whenever the wind chimes would go, the angels were singing. They're talking big time now. Okay. Here we go. So every time I hit the bowl, I asked for something. I asked for safety, clearing, love, understanding. I asked for what I wanted. I asked for what I was asking for. Answers, clarity, truth, love, friendship, family connection, happiness, happy home. I asked for everything that I was seeing in my life. Every time I hit and it vibrated out. I can still feel it vibrating out from my ear chakras. So my ears are open to spirit. Okay, so the items that we're going to choose from today, you can choose the chakra wand, you can choose the singing bowl, you can choose the bastet symbols, and you can choose...
the beautiful under the sea phoenix rising meditational tool this will clearly be water element this will be air element this is fire element and the quartz singing bowl is earth element okay so I'm going to I'm going to choose. I'll tell you how I'm going to do it just just to show you. I they're all going to be messages for me obviously. So I'm going to choose the water element as my first priority. The second is going to be the symbols which are the fire element. The third will be the earth, I mean the air element, and the last for me will be the the, the singing bowl which is the earth element. So I'm going to write these down because I know me and my mind gets going and spirit keeps coming so fast that I will forget sometimes and it causes too much confusion for myself and I don't want to do that. I like things in order. <clears throat> so first for myself, water element, which is undersea, the undersea phoenix rising Two, fire element and these are uh interesting it's so that's my pisces moon my fire um sun my aries sun and my gemini rising it's the order that i do it because my water element is seeming to be first lately for me fire element um bastet symbols air element is third chakra wands I love this. I was doing a balancing on my cats and on myself and on my spiritual twin and I was showing my landlord how as I touched each one I, and I was speaking about them, I was visualizing the Reiki healing going into these chakras. And I asked for my cat, one of my cats, what, what the issue was and I was touching, is it, is it here, is it here, is it here? And what I got from my spirit cat, Liger, was the throat chakra, was was had a difficulty at the throat chakra and what was the other one solar plexus it was it was here the throat and the solar plexus so it was self-worth and communication that were an issue found that intriguing <clears throat> that's when he would turn around when I touched him he would turn around on those particular ones <clears throat> air chakra is the third and then singing bowl is the fourth and that's earth earth element air element earth element all right now that I have these in order I can remove some of the things from my space so I can work a little bit <clears throat> and we're gonna start with the water element let you guys take a look at it this is beautiful I love this this is an incredible meditation tool. I love it because there are two swirls. If you can see, you can actually see the phoenix, their head. Because you would look at that and you'd say, well, it looks like a peacock. Or it might be a water dragon. To me, it's a water dragon and a peacock and it's a phoenix rising. They're all together. But there's two of them together. And there's Atlantis. So this is a meditation tool to get in touch with your emotions, to get in touch with your true feelings, to go down deep into your soul and retrieve what it is that you need to know from your, from your soul. What are my answers? What is it that I truly want? What is it that I am truly, maybe there's things that need to come up, right? That need to be unearthed, underneath, brought to the surface so that they can be looked at and healed. There's amazing things. You can look at these different shells and each shell would have a different meaning. <clears throat> I love this. <clears throat> so we're gonna work with the wisdom of Avalon and the very first thing that fell out was the tower so a tower uh, two things just fell out in, in, in before I even shuffled so the tower came out and the goblins came out so the tower is when something is not built on a strong foundation it's going to fall and as you see it in this particular section you see water rushing down right like a waterfall and water is extremely powerful water is more powerful than rock it is if you have water and it just drip 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 it will it will break through the rock 
it will change the course of the mountain. Water is a very strong energy, your emotions, right? So this is disruption. There may have been emotions that have been riled up and the wounded ego might be speaking. The wounded ego might be coming to the surface. So you gotta ask yourself, is that why my tower has fallen or has my tower fallen? And because of that, the wounded ego is coming forward. Let's ask. The wounded ego could be yours or someone else's, someone around you, right? The tower could have fallen, meaning I've, ch I've chosen to take a different course of action. My water is moving past these rocks, past the blockages. This rock will not stand in my way. I'm moving forward. This is the direction I choose to go. And because of that action, because look, there's growth, right? New beginnings. This water is continually moving forward. We are not to be stopped. We are not a dam. And if there was, it's now broken free. Emotions are pouring out, feelings are being expressed, action is being taken, and there's forward movement, and there's lightning up above. This is monsoon season. Monsoon season, I got a message from my client that I, I met in Sedona, and we only got one day of that um, kind of wild weather, but we didn't even get any rain. I was bummed, I really wanted it. And uh, she sent me a picture yesterday and she said, it's storming, I love it. And I said, oh, I wish I was there. I love monsoon season. But the monsoon weather is, it, is all around us, right? So it might be because of the course of action that you're taking or that you've chosen to speak um, or move forward. You're not allowing yourself to stay stagnant in a situation. Someone else may have a wounded ego. Someone else may not enjoy this, right? It may be coming forward. Now, it could be your own self, it depends. It depends on maybe a wounded ego has caused blockages, which has caused someone else to move forward. I'm done with this, right? I'm not doing, dealing with this wounded ego. I keep moving forward. This one may not be dealing with their wounded ego. They may not be dealing with whatever has come to the surface or they're allowing their wounded ego to make them react instead of act. This is action, this is reaction, okay? So let's see what comes forward. Correct for neutrality on all levels. What is the next message for the water element? Oop, that one came out. What is it? The novice. This is also called the fool card. This is also, this is, um, if you, in the zodiac, this is the Aries card, right? This is the taking a leap of faith, the fool going out. It's also a beginner. So it's at the beginning, you don't, you don't really know, this is new. So say there's been a tower that's fallen, right? and I'm, I'm taking a new course. This one is saying, I'm moving forward. I'm done being stagnant here. I'm done dealing with this wounded ego. I'm moving forward. I'm looking for new growth. Spirit has encouraged us to continue to keep moving forward. And now you're at the beginning of a new journey, right? This one has got their bag, their staff, they've got their cloak on, they're prepared to move forward. This one is saying, I'm taking a leap of faith. It could be that you have a new skill that you're a new business, a new job, maybe you're moving to a new area. You don't, you don't know everything, you're just starting out, but you're willing to move forward. So if this is something that's new for you, and you don't know the, all the ins and outs, you're uncertain, but you're curious, right? You are a beginner, yes, I'm ignorant to the ways of what's in front of me, I've not been there yet. How can I know what's happening before I know? You don't know what you don't know until you get there and figure it out. So don't allow yourself, your wounded ego to come out and say that you can't. I'm not capable. I don't know if I can do this. Or don't let someone else's negativity stop you from moving forward out on your journey. This one is taking a journey forward. This novice, this, is, this one is going. This is, I'm, I'm going to learn my skill along the way. I may not know how to do that, but I'm going to learn it. I'm going to figure it out. I'm ready to go. I'm packed. I've got my staff. I've got my bag. I, and I've got spirit at my back. And Spirit has encouraged me continually to move forward to new beginnings. Keep moving as what be as water and flow. Be water. Water moves around obstacles. You don't have to fight the obstacle, right? I don't have to fight with this. This one. I move around it. It's time for a new beginning. Let's go to the Psychic Tarot and let's see it. One more message to go along with this one. Correct for neutrality, for all, correct for neutrality on all levels. I think I'll wait and allow it to, to pop. The 
message that it's meant to come out. Woo, too many. <clears throat> the message that's meant to come out will make itself obvious. If somebody wants to be heard, they'll make themselves obvious. If somebody wants to be seen, they'll make themselves obvious, right? So the message that needs to be seen will make itself obvious. I embrace this path. Whoop, there it is. It flipped right out. Awareness. So this one is tapping into their crown. Their crown is open. They're willing, right? Check out the number. One, beginning. So this one is not listening to wounded ego or being stopped by anyone else. This one is moving forward, looking for fresh beginnings. Something has either ended, something has ended, definitely. And now, the new beginning, I'm moving forward. And what's interesting is this one is the number five. And for the number five, five says, there may be disagreements, there may be um, clashes, there may be things that just aren't working, aren't jiving, aren't, aren't clicking together. And so because of that, there's a need for a change. And because of that, a significant change is occurring, right? It's a disruption. And it's time to move forward. Five, it's, it's time for this change. So here you are, aware. Look at the smile on this one, right? I am aware. My crown is on fire. I am open to spirit. Spirit is guiding me. I am listening to what spirit says. I am listening to the guidance of my soul. I, I know that there's a beginning in front of me. I know that something has fallen behind me. I'm not going to allow my negative mindset to stop me. Whether this has to do with your creativity, your psychic gifts, love, relationships, job prospects, your physical abilities, whatever this is, you are the magician. You have everything, everything that you need in order to move forward on your spiritually illuminated path. Don't let negative mindset or other people get in your way. Magician, you have all the tools to move forward. You have the ability to create your reality. Spirit is working with you. Spirit is encouraging us constantly. Keep moving forward on your spiritually illuminated path. That's why we ask for guidance, right? Don't allow any naysayers or other people's thoughts or opinions or even your own self-doubt to get in your way. There's quite a difference between these two, right? And here we are, even though you may be new at something, you may be a beginner starting out on this path after this tower has fallen, but you have all the tools. They're all within you. You can find your way. You can manifest what it is. You can bring to you what it is that you need. What is it to help you? You're creating your reality. You have an idea about what you, what you want. I want to move forward. I want to be happy. I'm, I, I choose to move forward. I choose to be happy. I choose to be around upbuilding people, like-minded souls. I choose to let love into my life. I choose to be prosperous. I choose to open my mind to more, to learn, to create. I choose this. This is why I move forward. And as such, I am water reaching for my beginning. I'm dropping this away, I'm ignoring that. And I'm, I'm merging the fool, the one that's willing to take the leap of fight, faith, along with the inside, my inside magician. This, is, this comes when it's time to switch directions. <laughs> that's what happened, right? This said, we're moving, we're switching directions, it's time. It's not working where I'm at, and I'm gonna visualize what I want. I'm gonna, what's funny is what fell on the ground was the goblin. I'm gonna steer my emotional waters away from this, from this negative self-talk. Any negativity or some others. I know that I have knowledge and I will be given more knowledge as I go along and knowledge is power. And so in such, even though I'm, I'm a beginner, I am powerful. I am still a spiritual creature in this human body. My willpower is strong. My, my, my intention is strong. My focus is straight ahead. I'm tapping into the tools that I've been given as this magician, knowing that I'm going to be able to accomplish everything that I need to on this fool's journey. This one may say I'm on a fool's journey, but I know better. I know that I am water, and water is stronger than stone. Love that a lot. I love that a lot. 
I'm I'm all fired up. My my um my chakras are all spinning right now. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Okay, so now we go to the fire element. I'm on that right. Fire element. I told you guys I came in with the big cats. My cat is named Liger, and a Liger is half lion, half tiger, a magical, mystical creature. Bastet, the cat goddess. I align with this big time. This was my second choice. Well, not second choice. This is first in priority was this message for me, right? You guys got to think about what you chose for first to put your focus on first because you can only do one thing at a time. You set your focus and then you move forward, right? So that's obviously aligning with what, what my soul was asking. So now I know I, I'm on course with what I was feeling. So here we go to the second for those who chose. Bastet, the cat goddess, the symbols. We go to, I guess now we're gonna go to the Archangel Power. Makes sense. Archangel Power, the cover of the Archangel Power is the lion. But the lion with Ariel, interesting. This is courage and strength and determination. But the angel hugging that lion, that's compassion, kindness, love. So sometimes you don't have to be a roaring lion to be strong and powerful. Sometimes your love, well love is the most powerful, most powerful of all. Ariel is also the angel of finances. So, to me, what I'm getting is your focus is this. This is my intention, and now I'm, maybe we're looking at finances. Maybe we're looking at how to bring in, how we're going to manifest what we need. We already know we have all the tools, right? So let's see what comes out. Curious. Show me. Which is going to pop? Which is going to pop? You know what's interesting when I watch other people... Um, shuffle their cards it's this one when they shuffle I see them going down the front and I seem to go oh there's another in reverse is that interesting we each have our own way boy the cards are popping they're being obvious today so two fell on the ground so what I'm getting from that is the one came out it was pretty obvious this was our message this one seven of Michael there's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. What did I say? I'm done being on island. I don't want to be alone. It's not working for me. My name is Sherry. I'm meant to share. So review all of the details. You maybe you were thinking of going down this path and you've been doing it all by yourself and spirit says, no, wait, Michael says, Archangel Michael, which is the one that we call in, our protector, right? Archangel Michael is the one who's, who's right now is shielding our crown, is, is shielding this area. He's the one who cuts through the illusion with his giant sword. He's the one who cuts the cords of negativity. He's the one who kicks down walls and makes windows where there were only walls. Michael is coming forward. I work with Michael every single day. And he's saying, wait a minute, don't do this by yourself. There's a better way. You're about to go down a road that's pretty dark. This one's lit up. Why do you always have to take the hardest road, Sherry? <laughs> I'm ready for this. So the two that fell on the ground, whoa, three fell on the ground. Three fell on the ground. The Knight of Ariel, which Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight on the face of the planet. And there Ariel is saying, there he is on his horse. And she's saying, don't stand there, get moving. You're, you're, you're worrying about the money. But remember I said Ariel was the, also the angel of finances. She's saying, don't worry about it. I'll plant this gold in your field. You're all ready to go. Get moving forward. You're taking too long. You're up on your horse, but you're not going anywhere. Five of Michael. He comes forward and says, the situation that you're in right now doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach, such as my approach. You're going down a dark road. It's not working for you. You need to go down the road that's easier, that's brighter. And Ariel's saying... You're just standing there doing nothing, being so focused on your, on your finances here, not understanding that I'm going to take care of that for you. Get going. And then the three of Ariel comes forward and says, do what you love. Do what you love. This is a time of personal growth in your career or your artistic endeavors. But they're saying working with others in a cooperative spirit. So this is all going along with what I was saying. Working alone is no fun. It's no fun for me. I don't like it. I don't want it. I want a partner, right? And all of these are basically telling us the exact same thing. 
the, the path that you were going down is, is not the best, best path for you. It's dark. Um, it's not lit up. It's, it doesn't have my guidance. It doesn't have, you're, you're not going to be able to see your way through whatever it is that's going on. Whatever, whatever your idea is, whether you're about to do a project with someone, you're, you're working on something else and they're saying, or maybe the way you're going about it is not the way. You're not going about it in the, in the proper way. Spirit wants to give you a heads up. They're giving you a heads up. They're saying you've got a good idea, but the way you're going about it is not very good. You're, doing, you're going about this like a solo act and you're going down a dark road and it's not gonna be in your highest good. It's also appearing like you're running away. You're running away. This is like a little boy that's running away. I'm gonna take my stuff and I'm leaving. And they're saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. Over here, you're not going down that way, come on. No, 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 that's, your, that's that wounded ego coming out, right? That situation doesn't serve you. you. You've got an attachment to an outcome, so we have to detach. Remember at the beginning of the, um, at the, beginning of the reading, what happened? Boom, detach. So you need to detach from whatever it is that you're holding on to so tightly because Spirit's saying that whatever the actions that, you're, that you are um, taking or whatever your plan is, you need to stop and reconsider something because the energy that you're putting into this may not be in your highest good. There's gonna be something, um, possibly if you're gonna sit here and, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm working, 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 right? And I'm doing this by myself. I know I'm capable. Yeah, but, but Michael says you're going the wrong way and perhaps all that energy that you're expending is not gonna turn out. It's not, you're not gonna have a lot to celebrate and you will have no one to celebrate. You may be working so hard, focusing so much on your craft, on your, on your plan or whatever this is by yourself that when you do get the success, there's gonna be no one there to celebrate it with you. You're going to be alone at this point. So they're asking you to take a more uplifting path. Follow, I'll sweep away. It's dark over here, it's bright over here. I'm guiding you in the direction. There's a lot of either, a lot of negative energy that's coming for, at you from people around you. Um, maybe your idea is good, but the people that you're with, it, it's not. They don't suit your vibration. That's why you're alone. So you're gonna pack your bags and go, but you're going down the wrong way. Go over this way. Allow Michael to sweep away the negativity. Go towards the light. He's gonna come with this giant vacuum. It's interesting, in my dream when I was in Sedona, I was vacuuming and then I pulled the plug. And that song kept coming on. Um, I got used to you being someone, uh, being someone that you loved, and then you pulled the plug. And now the days, day, night, daylight is turning into night, and I'm alone. I pulled the plug on something because I was constantly having to clean up somebody else's shit. And Archangel Michael says, I'll clean it up. Let me vacuum it up. Whatever it is that you have been connecting to, whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, or the path you've been going down, it's draining you. It's draining you. It's, it's not optimistic. It's dark. Every path is dark. Let me vacuum away your fear, your worry, your negativity. You start making more optimistic plans. And even if it didn't turn out, maybe the first, the ideas didn't work with where you were, you got your little backpack, Okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm going down here, forget it then. And he's saying, no, 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 turn around. Don't run away from, from this because it didn't work out. Turn around and go down this path. You've wasted your energy with negative thinking, that toxic energy. You, you're wasting your energy where you are. You need to be more self-aware. You need to tap into your higher self. That's what Archangel Michael is saying in this instance. So then, what of your idea? <clears throat> the idea is fine. The idea is actually something that they seek success around. But <clears throat> are you actually following what you love? Or are you doing something for others because this is what is expected of you? Maybe that's what's wrong. Maybe you've been tilling the field, but you're digging yourself a hole. You're digging deeper and deeper and deeper and you're not able to get out from where you are. And, and, and Ariel's saying, get on your horse. You're on your horse, go. Stop procrastinating, Lightworker. You have all the tools, magician, that you need in order to move forward, but you're st still stuck standing there, the slowest night in the deck. You might have great ideas and great plans, but you're either running away or you're stalling. And right now, the Spirit's saying, maybe it's because you're not actually doing what you love to do. If you do what you love, there will be growth, Spirit says. You will have growth as long as you are paying attention 
You can, you need to pay attention to what spirit's telling you. You can get other people's opinions, the, the advice of ones around you, that's fine. On ones that have, have had success in that area, you can ask for that, that's great. But you also have ideas. You're also the magician. And spirit is also imparting ideas to you. And Michael's telling you, you're wasting energy. I need to vacuum, I'm, I'm doing a lot of clean up, clean up work here. Someone else was cleaning up after you and then she's pulled the plug. This is, and I'm doing a lot here, but we could avoid all of this if you would not keep going down that dark path and you would start moving towards the light. Don't be afraid to share your ideas. Understand your, your creative potential. Yes, you are equipped. Yes, you have got great ideas. Yes, you are self-aware, but you need to work with spirit. You might be working with the wrong people. Well, you, you are. You're either not working with anyone or you're in the wrong environment. And spirit's saying, focus on what it is that you love. You need to review the details about what's going on. This working alone is not flying high. It's not. Better course of action available. Your ideas are great as long as you're doing what you want and what you love, but it's best to work in conjunction with others who are of like mind, right? Stop stalling. Get off the path that's going to darkness. Go to the light. I'm clearing the way for you. You need to take an uplifting approach, a better approach, a lighter approach. Pretty clear. Okay. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose... That was interesting. There was a lot that came out of that. <clears throat> for those who chose the Bastet, no, we just did Bastet, didn't we? Yeah. For those who chose the Chakra, balancing. So we did water, we did fire element. This is now air element for those who chose the Chakra balancing wand. Isn't this beautiful? These are all actual crystals. Gorgeous. And we're going to go to... The Wisdom of Avalon. I love the Wisdom of Avalon. This is one of my oldest decks. There's a deck sitting on my on my um, on my desk. The Nature. Oops, it's this one. The Nature Speak Oracle. So it needs to come out as well. So I think we'll probably be. I'm going to bring out both of them at the same time. <clears throat> nature Speak. Correct for neutrality on all levels. This little deck is really really fine. The cards. So I like to shuffle them. Okay, see how I, I do my decks like this, where I, I usually see other people going frontwards. I think that's funny. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Oh, there's one. And it's desert, upright. Okay, so the desert is a harsh environment. What is this one? Communication. Okay, so you see mountains here, you see boulders here, but there's a lot of um, the root chakra and the fire element here, root, grounded, right? Make sure you're grounded. Make sure you're on the same wavelength. Um, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of earthy energy. And yet in this, you see the desert, very, it's right where I just came from. <laughs> Literally looks like, if those were red rocks, that looks like where I just came from. And uh, it's talking about resilience and strength. So for, this one, you see a lot of lush communication and growth. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of passionate communication. There's a lot of, um, it's heavy too though. It's, it's, it's a, it's a serious concern is what I'm understanding. It's a serious concern. Um, overgrown. So perhaps there's, there's a need for communication. It's overgrown. Right? There's a lot that's been, that's been building up here. It looks pretty wild here. And there's a couple big boulders in the way. So maybe blockage is in the way. And desert to me, even though it says resilience and strength, there's not a lot going on there. Right? It's extremes. So it might be that there has been no communication. And there's a lot that needs to be said. There's a lot building up here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of feeling. There's a lot of um, maybe there's misunderstandings. There's a lot of emotion that's building. There's a lot that's piled up here and there's nothing here. So this is two total, like this could be two, two sides. It's kind of like what I've been living in, right? I've got a lot 
that I got to say. I got a lot that I feel and there is nothing coming at me. That doesn't work. This doesn't work for me, right? These two conditions don't jive. Now, there's, this is a time of, of the hermit going out into the wilderness. Um, I love going in the desert. I do. I love Sedona. It's beautiful, right? I love to hike the rocks. I get a lot of messages. I get a lot of downloads when I'm out there. That's why I think about the hermit going out and connecting to spirit. But this is where I feel alive. This is life. And so it's kind of like you've got to strike a balance between the two, right? Right here, you develop strength and resiliency and, and there's depth that you go down. I'm able to, to uh, adapt to the situation. It's difficult in this environment, right? This is a, a things might seem very bleak here. There's, there's not a lot of water out here. This is like training. That's why I like when I go to Sedona, I get downloads. This is where I get a lot of information. This is, this is difficulty. This is where you, you um, like if you go into a sweat lodge, you're out in the desert, you, you purify your thoughts. This is where you're going down deep. I need to get a clear, clear vision of what I, where I wanna be, what do I wanna do? What do I need to do? What do I need to develop? What, I'm going in deep. This to me is the hermit. That's how I feel about this. You're alone. This is getting you ready to get to where you need to go. But then this, there's a lot happening here. There's a lot, a lot going on here. You also get very grounded when you're in the trees, when you're in the mountains. I'm seeing trees and mountains and it's the fall color. It's, it's now. The time is now. So the message here is, are you being clear and straightforward when you communicate? Or are you keeping silent, keeping everything to yourself? Do you have difficulty asking for what you want? Here, you're filled with all of this, but are you holding all of this inside? And is this what it appears on the outside? It's dry, nothing there. This is asking you to speak clearly. This is asking you to communicate with yourself as well as others, with spirit. Do you need to call someone? Do you need to write somebody a letter? Is there communication that needs to happen? Because all that it's been is a dry desert. Is there someone that you need to connect with? Have you been a hermit out here for so long that you have become an island unto yourself, like the one that was on the horse, had great ideas, plans, but never got going anywhere? This is calling for communication. This also is not just communication with self. This is communication with your spirit guides, right? So that you get an understanding of where you need to go, what you need to do. What's of highest importance? Well, our messages are telling us to keep moving forward. I kept getting, let go, go, move. And, I, and the song, run away, run away. It's like, get going. So someone was running away. That little boy had his backpack on and he was running away. He was facing in the wrong direction. Michael says, no, go back in this direction. This is full of life and passion. There's a lot going on here. Your spirit guides are on your path, sending you markers, giving you direction. I was spoken to in the mountains. I read the rocks, I knew what they were saying. And what I was shown was there was the goddess. And then there was me on the outside edge. I said, I'm always on the outside edge. And there was a huge gap between where the protection was and where my partner was. My partner was way over here. There was a huge gap between us. And I was on the way outside edge of the goddess that was holding on. My higher self was the goddess. I was on the very outside edge, just hanging on to the side of this freaking rock. And that's what I was really doing, scaling the mountain alone, hanging off the side of that rock. But I have all of this inside of me. It doesn't go well for me to be alone. There needs to be communication. So I am communicating now. Right? I am communicating with spirit. I'm communicating with you. I'm communicating out my intentions and what I require. It's not okay. I don't want to be connected to a hermit. I have too much passion, too much inside of myself. Are you open to the messages? Remember I was told, well, maybe you need to open yourself up. Maybe you're holding your, in a holding pattern. And I, and I guess I was. It always, you know, I connect well with Virgos because... It's funny, it's always a Virgo, something about their, their energy and mine. But, but I always, I, I'll hear what they have to say. Like I said, I honor what you're saying. But I have to go away and allow it to process, right? And, and, I, and I had epiphanies all the way home. And, I, and it's getting to be fall, and it's beautiful here. But again, I'm alone. That doesn't work for me. 
I have way too much inside that I want to share, way too much passion. I don't want to do this alone. So she's right. I needed to open myself up. I needed to communicate. And that's what this card is asking for you. Look around and see, listen, hear, sense, and you will feel what you're meant to do. What is in your highest good? It's not even, a, communication is not always about talking either. It's about hearing, it's about listening. So at my ears, I've got angels, angels wings. I'm listening to the bells outside right now. For whom the bell tolls is what I'm hearing. For whom the bell tolls. For whom the bell tolls is about someone who is those, honoring those who have passed. So has somebody perhaps passed in your life and it's been a barren period and you've kept yourself isolated and spirit says there's a lot of pent-up emotion that needs to be expressed. It's time to be amongst the living. There's nothing here. It's dead. This is alive. And that might sound harsh, but it's, it's a fact. Our, our place is not with the dead. Our place is with the living. We are amongst the living. I have the dead come through me and they are most often saying that message. We want you to live. We want you to move forward. We don't want you to mourn and mourn and mourn. It's good to mourn, but then you have to stop. You can't put your little backpack and run away from the world and go down that dark road and stay in that dark place. There's a bright white light that's leading you forward. It's time to communicate once again. All right, so now we go to the last one, which is the crystal singing bowl. <clears throat> this, this crystal singing bowl is also called the laughing Buddha. It's time for a good laugh. It's time for some fun. It's not all about seriousness. It's not all about work. It's not all about spirituality. It's a balance of love, friendship, playing, sexuality, expressing yourself, colors, being noticed, being heard, singing. This is a singing bowl. I want to be heard. I want to sing. I want to be noticed. I want to be held, touched, kissed, played with, have partnerships, friendships. That is life. That is living, right? We want to live our life. Okay, so the next message, where are we going now? I like how this is coming out. This is working really, really, in a really cool way. I think we're going to a completely different deck. Let me hear, <laughs> let me hear what it is. I can't, I can't, uh, I gotta clear my head. For the last, for the earth element, getting grounded, nurturing, responsible family, right? Community, wisdom of the golden path. Okay, no, it's not. I reached for the wisdom of the oracle, but I said wisdom of the golden path. Okay, so maybe we get a message from both of those. That's interesting. Wisdom of the Golden Path. Where are you? Here you are. Oh, I love this deck. And Wisdom of the Oracle. <clears throat> because we've been asking for Spirit's guidance. The very first on the bottom of the deck, which is the underlying issue. Whatever's on the bottom of the deck is the underlying issue of the situation. The need for compassion. Compassion for others and compassion for self. That's on the bottom of the deck. And we'll get the wisdom of the oracle. And on the bottom of the deck, we have your the fork in the road. And there you are standing at the fork of the road and you're asking everybody, where am I supposed to go? You're asking all of them. There's a monkey. The monkey says, go up there. But two signs point behind the llama and one sign's pointing forward. So which direction do I need to go? You need to get quiet and you need to ask yourself, what is it that I desire? What is it that I feel? What is, where do I feel good? Who do I feel good with? Am I doing what I enjoy? If I were, where would I be? You've got to think about all of these things. So you're at a fork in the road. You've got to figure out where to go. You've got to be compassionate with yourself. You've got to be compassionate with others. So let's see what our message is. Woo, it's that one. It flipped out. Oh wait, that's two. Do it again. Correct for neutrality. Show us in an obvious term what is the message that's most important. No, nope, too many. <clears throat> too many. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Show us the message. Show me. Correct for neutrality.
show me. Make one pop. Nope. Too many. Too many spirit. Just one. I mean, if they insist on two, that's fine, but that was like four. Come on. Show me. I'm going to turn them around. Maybe they need to be in a different order. Okay, that was it. Creativity. Okay, so creativity is on the, on the board. So if you don't move forward, your creativity is stifled. If you don't move forward. This one looks a little trepidatious, a little bit concerned. Hands together, hands together, leaning away from something, wrapped in gold, wanting, wanting. The artist in you wants to emerge. Something inside of you wants to come out. You've got a strong urge to express yourself. I said that, right? So allow your inner artist to, to lead you to where you need to go. What needs to be expressed and how do I express myself? When I express myself in an artistic way, I was just talking to my girlfriend, Kimmy. She just moved and she has a soul house that um, she paints. And that was one of the things that came out. And I said, she's, she's filled with all of this emotion. And I said, if you will use that, allow your emotion, all of those emotions that you're feeling to be expressed onto the paper, you will, it will channel the most beautiful paintings for you. It's a way for you to release and work through those emotions while helping, and, and cre helping others and creating something beautiful. So there's something that needs to be done in order to help balance your emotions, improve your physical well-being, this is, this is something that happens within you. This is about connecting to the inner artist, so it doesn't have to be something, um, a masterpiece. It, it just has to be something that your body creates. This is about expressing yourself without judging yourself, without reservation, just allowing something to come out, honoring your feelings. Everything that you're feeling, allow it to pour out. Whatever wants to be poured out. Don't judge it. Don't ask anybody else's opinion. It's not going to be critiqued. It needs to be released exactly the way you feel. Allow yourself to express in an artistic way through music, through drawing, through gardening. It's got to come out in some type of way. You're doing this for yourself. There's nobody else there. This is about your own self-worth. See the gold? What's precious to you? That's what the bowl was, the crystal singing bowl. What is precious to you? What's precious to you is going to be expressed. This is coming from your soul, coming from your heart. You're gonna develop trust and, and honor and respect in yourself by seeing and uh, seeing what your body wishes to create. I'm excited to see what you're gonna do. This is about you seeing what's coming out of you. You're, you're receptive. You're gonna allow yourself to be receptive to whatever this is. Whatever your feelings are, whatever your thoughts are, you're only restricted by your own mind, so then let it go. Remember what Spirit said, open your mind. The wind chimes are just blowing. They're just all, all ignited. Everything's ignited at this moment. Allow your imagination to travel like the wind. Allow it to go anywhere. Allow it to be and, and create whatever it is that you want. I'm, I'm all in fire right now. I wanna make something today. I wanna make something today. When you feel confident about how you feel and you're able to express your own feelings, then you're gonna be able to be receptive to others as well because you're gonna understand. This is what came out of me. I'm not judging it. I'm just allowing it to come out. So it will allow you to see others in a compassionate way. Remember the first thing was compassion for self and others. This will allow you to go wherever you want to go while remaining grounded at the same place. Stay connected. The next message is fork in the road. Okay, I don't need, I don't know where to go. So maybe I should start painting and drawing. What do I draw? What comes out when I paint or when I sing? What do I sing about? Or what, what that, because you're trying to figure out which direction to go, right? Well, when I painted, I allowed myself to do that. What did I paint? I painted myself with these big boulders around me and there was a lake and there were pine trees and there was an osprey. That's where I painted myself. Now I have a lake right here. I have osprey. I don't have any pine trees around me. The osprey does come. So there's a little bit here, but not everything that I need here. So then I go up to Idlewild and there's the mountain 
but there's not the osprey, there's not the lake. I probably could see an osprey up there. But where, what I painted, what vision came to my mind, there was big boulders that I sat upon, and there was water, and there were big trees, and the osprey. That's where my soul wants to go. So when you do this, whatever, whenever you sing, whatever you paint, whatever you draw, whatever comes out, it'll show you where, in the, uh, where you need to go, or what you need to do, or who you wanna be around. What is the number? 13. Keep your thoughts positive. Focus on the positive. The positive is I'm going to be, I'm going to go where I meant to go. I'm going to be given the proper direction. I won't make a mistake. Whatever path I choose is going to be the right path for me at the moment. I'm not going to worry so much about what everyone else has to say because I got to tap into what's important to me. This little, I'm not going to be tied to a post either. I'm not going to be tied to a post. I need to make this decision for myself and I need to own my choice. My obligation is to me. Whatever I choose, I take responsibility for. I need to make a decision. Am I going to continue going the same path I was going? According to this whole, whole reading, I take all my messages together in, of order and importance. Michael's been saying that there's a better way. You've been doing this alone. You need to be with like-minded people. It's time for you to have a partner. It's time for you to not be a solo act. So are you gonna take the road less traveled or are you gonna take the one that everyone else has gone down? Now, just because that one road was dark and one was light doesn't mean that the one that was lit up was the one that everyone traveled. It was just the brighter road for you to take. It might be that the road that everybody else went down was that dark road. They already went down there, it didn't go very well. Try this way. It's brighter. It looks, the future is brighter for you. This is your choice and yours alone. I love that saying. I've always said, Ralph Waldo Emerson, don't lead where others may follow. Blaze a trail and leave a path, right? So just because that little backpack guy was going down the dark road and Michael said, no, go this way. Maybe he was going that way because that's the, where the herd went, right? Like a lemming going where everybody else says that I should go. That road's dark, it's done, it's not getting you, it's dirty. It's not a good road for you. It could be as far as a relationship. Am I gonna open myself up to love? Am I going to open myself up to choice? Am I gonna remain isolated? No, Michael said to me, don't. It's not good for you to go on alone. That's what I'm being shown. Am I gonna go deeper and commit my passion in this relationship, if you're in a relationship? Do I go in a different direction? Am I honest with myself? Am I really invested here? Am I the only one invested here? Am I, do I have my heart invested but no one else is around? It's a dry desert and there's no communication. That's not the best place for me, is it? So we need to be honest with ourselves and, and get real. We got this card in the upright. It wasn't in reverse. It might be also telling you that you've made decisions to hang around, you're hanging on. That's not really making a decision. It's not really moving forward like that night of Pentacle, the slowest moving night, procrastinating over and over. Even though he has the tools, even though he knows spirit's gonna bring the money, even though he doesn't have to keep doing that, he's, he's digging that hoe in so deep that he's not gonna be able to get out in that place where he's at. Are you hanging on to a group of people because you don't wanna be alone? Is that another message? I have been hanging on alone. But have you been hanging on to a group of people because you don't want to be alone? Maybe you need to go out and get stronger. Maybe you need to go out in the desert and, and be the hermit and get resilient. Maybe that's what you need in your life. Maybe you're afraid of a genuine, real connection. And so you put your little backpack on and you're going down that dark road with all your buddies. And Spirit says, no, 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 it's dark down there. If you actually follow this light, you're going to go down a bright path. All roads will open up to you. All roads lead to a lesson. I, in my dreams, I was with my spiritual twin and I was watching him and he said, he was on a bike. A bike means self-movement. And the person said, I'm just gonna go down this cul-de-sac. I know it's a dead end, but I just gotta check it out again. And I thought, wow, and I kept moving forward. He went down into a cul-de-sac. Are you in that cul-de-sac hanging out with your friends because you're afraid of a genuine connection? Regardless of the decision, you need to move according to your heart. Now, as far as prosperity, as far as your work, spirit's saying you're at a fork in the road, you're faced with a choice. You've come as far as you can. 
at this point. This is where you're at. Now I'm at a stall. In order for me to better myself, to evolve, to become bigger, I need to make a new choice. Who do I want to become? What do I need to believe in order to be a part of a prosperous, full living life? Where do I need to go? There is abundance everywhere. In every corner I could choose. I could go somewhere to make it work for me. Or I could settle in a certain location. Do you keep moving forward like a rolling stone because you're afraid to stop? That things might fall apart? Allow your higher self to steer you in the direction that you need to go. And now it's time to do some deep, deep thinking. But <clears throat> spirit would like you to do it in a creative way. And don't judge what it is that comes out. Don't question it. Because you've asked. And when you do this now and something emerges, it might be something that's scary to you. But spirit says we want you to listen to your higher self. Maybe that's what's been happening. Maybe you're, you're so stubbornly seeing things in a certain order like I was told that you're not willing to open up your mind and maybe you need to do something in a certain way to get things moving again. And you've definitely come to a stall. I've been stalled for way too long. I travel, but it's been this. It's been the waiting game, right? Around and around and around. The sand is almost gone. Now, I've grown. I haven't stayed in the same spot. I have grown, but it's a waiting game. And it's a waiting game for two, apparently. So I, I'm ready for, for something else, right? I'm going to ask for one more message and see what pops. Whoop, was that it? The Empress. <laughs> the Empress meets an emperor. The Empress is all about nurturing self, nurturing others. This is mother nature. This is saying time to act on your plans. Archangel Gabriel is the angel that I work with because Gabriel is the messenger and I am the red hawk and Gabriel is the red hawk as the messenger. So this is, this is a great message for me to see. It's also three. So it's telling you Archangel Gabriel is working with you, helping you deliver your message, helping you understand that you're not working alone. Three is ascended masters working with you. Also says full circle completion, time to move forward, time to act. Your creativity is being rewarded and there are luxuries and abundance coming your way. Whether in friends, look at these animal messengers, the deer, the squirrel says, get ready for big changes. The deer, walk gently on your path. You might be going into a circumstance you're not sure of. But I'm here to guide you. You have transformed. There's the butterfly. It's very full. It's very lush. It's very exciting. And I am ready. Are you? I love you. Bye.